Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be making some pumpkin puree to make um, pumpkin pies with. This is from our garden last year. Um, if you have pumpkins or winter squash you're storing, you might want to check on them. Uh, a couple weeks ago, Daniel asked me when I was going to uh, work on the pumpkins because he loves pumpkin pie. And I have a mess in my pantry right now. But it didn't go to waste. The chickens are enjoying the pumpkin right now and um, it's good for them. It's a dewormer, natural dewormer. So we'll get started with this and then I'll clean up my mess. Cat guys. Cat girl. Cut this into sections. Now I'm just going to cut out the seeds and the strings. This is just half the pumpkin, the other half is on the table. Then we'll just roast the seeds and the rest will go to the chickens. Okay, I've got them all cut up. Um, I'm going to put these in a 400 degree oven, uh, cut side up for about an hour. Okay, it's what they look like when it comes out. This took two hours instead of one um, in my oven. Yours may be different, um, but you want it to just come right off like that. And this has liquid in the bottom. I'm going to try to pour that off so the puree won't be watery. And then I'll um, let this cool off for a little bit. And then we'll get it off the skins. Okay, these is cooled. 
what I'm going to do is just pull it the skin. Just scrape it away from the skin. Do one more here. This is what I got out of the pumpkin. I'm going to strain off the liquid and then the next step. Now I'm going to run this in the food processor until it has a smooth consistency. Now I'm going to get a freezer bag and put down in the cup. I'm going to put about two cups in this. I'm going to freeze it because you can't can um, pumpkin puree. Now I'm just going to try to squeeze all the air out of the bag. And you can put as much pumpkin as you want in the bag. I got three two cup bags and one one cup bag out of the pumpkin. Now I'm just going to lay them flat in the freezer and let them freeze. I want to thank y'all for watching. I hope you have a blessed day and come back and see us.